and uh, welcome back to fleetmusic.blogspot.com. Uh, this is video four uh, in a series on drum synth synthesis, and uh, yeah, we're going to look at synthesizing some hi hats. Um, before um, we get on with the actual sounds that itself, let's check out a few references. Um, as I mentioned previously, I downloaded uh, this, this free sample pack of 88 samples. I'm just going to use um, these as a kind of initial, well, when I was going through working out these examples, I I referred back to these. Uh, so this is just a kind of 808 closed hi-hat. And obviously we've got a lot of noise, um, and there's nothing really below uh, kind of, sort of three 3k range. Uh, here's our open hi hat. You see, we have a bit of frequency content further down the mid range, but and obviously a longer kind of decay uh, to the actual sound itself. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Also, another kind of useful reference point I would suggest, uh, if you have it, is to um, go into your live devices, go into operator, go into drums, go into Kit 808, which is obviously a kind of operator version of um, the 808 drum machine, and and see how uh, these examples have been composed. So the closed hi hat, um, we have <clears throat> like so. Um, so we've got four oscillators. Um, two of which are the noise, uh, the loop noise, i.e. the pitchable noise. Uh, and then we have this pair of oscillators here, C and D, which is a square three wave being modulated by a sine wave. Uh, and obviously that all being high passed. So you can hear it's kind of a kind of clappy snare sound. That's just being high passed um, with a small, almost imperceptible amount of uh, pitch envelope. Uh, and then if we look at the actual open hi-hat, we can see here that time has been brought up, so we have a much longer de decay. Uh, and that's, that'll be borne out also in the decay settings here. Uh, again, you know, everything's been high-passed. Um, so yeah, that's how... Um, or, I mean, use the kind of idea there is uh, just to use that as a uh, <coughs> as a kind of point of reference. So let's do our first hi hat. It's gonna be a nice simple one. So we're gonna drag in an instance of operator. Uh, let's close this down. Um, we are where are we? We're gonna arm this channel. This is our uh, hi hat, so let's call this actually closed hi hat one. Uh, here we're just going to do uh, do some very very simple subtractive uh, synthesis. Uh, we're going to close it also to C and D, we're going to turn the voices down to 1 as per usual. Um, let's start off with to A, we're going to dial in uh, no sustain, bringing our decay to a typical value, That's so we get a feeling of the actual uh, effect of the amplitude envelope there. Um, we're going to select a, a noise looped wave, and we're going to turn this to fixed tuning. Um, Go go by ear, I would say. Um, but bear in mind um, what we looked at in the frequency spectrum of the of the uh, eight hundred eight samples. Um, but we're going to be producing kind of low end content, which we're going to filter out anyway. Uh, the next oscillator, we're going to copy envelope from oscillator A, and we're going to copy uh, the actual waveform itself from oscillator A. But we're going to take the tuning down to, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere lower down. To add a bit more kind of low mid range uh, into the sounds. Uh, we're now going to 
turn on our filter and bring in a very steep high pass 24 dB filter. Bring it up to, well, go by ear, but let's leave it around about there. Keep the resonance at one, and uh, let's at this point engage our pitch envelope. Let's bring it right way right up to a hundred, and uh, keep the attack at zero, the decay. Let's bring it into about there, one one three. Uh, release uh, at leave it as default setting. Initial. Let's bring it down. Um, well, that's gonna make a difference, really, and uh, bump up the peak value and leave it the same where it is. So that's our that's our basic tone. You can also um, well, yeah, it's also useful to point out that the um, time uh, variable is useful because I mean it goes from kind of being a kind of closed. Um, a closed uh, hi hat at this, this this kind of range of values, and here it becomes much more open sounding. Um, uh, we can also um, use our sends bit of ring modulation might bring it out a bit. So that's our first uh, our first close hi hat. Let's actually just um, copy this and then paste it, and then make sure we change this so we get the next note up, and then go in and change this to close hi hat two. Uh, and all I want to highlight here is obviously just the idea of duplicating and copy and pasting in. Um, Copy and pasting in uh, a, a slightly different I had to say you've got a combination, and so you know you've got two quite distinct. Okay, it's not particularly closed I hat sounding, but uh, the idea here is just you know just by simply um, adjusting the filter or adjusting the actual pitch, you've got a different sound entirely, well, a related but different sound. Let's move on to another closed hi-hat, um, this one's uh, very similar, if not the same as uh, the Ableton example, um, I think there's a few, I did a few, a, um, a slight vari vari variation on it, but um, it's essentially the same, but I think it's a useful example nonetheless. Um, so let's uh, turn off our say to A, uh, turn the voices down to 1, uh, bring up the level of the say to B, which we're just going to then select a noise loot uh, as per usual, bring the same right down, bring the decay to round about there. For our say to C, we're going to select a, let's say, square 6, I mean others, others will do, but I'll leave it up to you to experiment. We're going to bring the sustain right down, bring the decay in, change the uh, change to fix the tuning of oscillator C and change the tuning to five six seven. And at this point, actually, I'm going to change the tuning of oscillator B to fixed as well. Uh, let's chuck it, chuck it around there, um, and then oscillator D. We're going to bring up the level, and we're going to change the waveform to noise loot. And change the tuning to let's move up. So what's happening here is oscillator D, which is our noise waveform, is, is modulating our square six wave here. And then we're just gonna, as as uh, as we did previously, um, bring up our high pass twenty four uh, dB filter and and really chop everything below 200 and as you can see look, the waveform we're getting um, is very similar to the examples uh, of the 808 samples I showed previously where 
you know, we're really not getting anything below 1k, um, as you'd expect, I mean, as is appropriate for this type of sound, but that's just, just a reminder. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's the basic setting. I mean, there's scope, obviously, to introduce um, some pitch into it, um, but for our purposes, this is done. Let's move on to... Um, I think at this point I'm going to leave it here there um, I think and now um, in the next video we're going to move on to looking at some congas and uh, and like a side stick side stick sound and if we if I have time start looking at uh, synthesizing some toms but uh, yeah I think I'm going to leave it where we are uh, for the hi hats, and uh, please go to uh, fleetmusic.blogspot.com and uh, check out the other videos. Okay, cheers.